Alan, a little easier to hit up the uh, hit up the local branch of the bank for a, a, a couple of shekels, isn't it? Exactly. We don't want to overplay it, but it, but uh, the Fed, uh, which does a quarterly uh, report on bank lending standards, found that that for some consumer loans, uh, mainly credit cards and auto loans, it was easier uh, to get a loan in in the, this quarter, uh, in the previous quarter, the January March period, than at the end of last year. Um, however, for home loans, business loans, those standards uh, you know, remain pretty tight. At Alan, why, why the breakdown there? Why is it easier for me to get plastic in, a, uh, in an automobile loan, uh, but we're still seeing a little bit of reluctance to, to loan for me on my house? I mean, I would say home prices would be the main area of uncertainty there. Banks, you know, the, the outlook is unclear. There's a lot of signs that the housing market may have found bottom, but, you know, in, in, in certain markets, um, prices still be could still be uh, going down um, and there's just uncertainty around you know how um, the regulatory environment's going to play out is banks are pretty cautious in that arena the, the other issue that the banks mentioned in this um, uh, in this Fed survey is um, uncertainty about buybacks what they call buyback risk that's the risk that Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac will require the lender to take back the loan if it, if it falls into foreclosure and Alan what, what about the rates and terms I mean if I go and get a fresh credit card or an auto loan, am I paying through the nose for it? Yes, and so this was an interesting point um, in, in the Fed uh, report, less on, on the uh, consumer side, but on the business side, um, the Fed did find that, that for business loans, banks were starting to ease their terms uh, quite a bit. Um, and that's a good sign for the economy, you know, more competition for business loans. Um, you know, heating up, and, and, and maybe we'll see uh, you know, uh, those loans uh, pick up, which could really you know help the uh, help the economy at this point. And what about the housing market? I mean, are are we seeing any indication uh, that I, I mean, obviously banks are gatekeepers uh, for the housing market with some signals that you know we've seen signs that even areas like uh, Phoenix and Miami are starting to see. A little bit more activity on the uh, on the home sales front. Uh, are the banks ahead of the curve on that, or behind the curve? They're probably behind the curve. But um, if they're, uh, you know, they're naturally cautious. They've been through this huge, huge slump, and you know, they're they're going to be cautious for a long time. Uh, they got you know, badly uh, hit, obviously. Uh, but you could, you know, as as home prices start to inch up again, the risk of default and the economy turns around, jobs you know pick up. The risk of default goes down, so eventually banks are going to want to uh, take on more risk there. But I think that's a, a, a ways off, and um, you know, there's a lot. At the same time, there are a lot of banks that are unsure that they want to be in the mortgage lending business anymore, or, or unsure of the extent to which they want to be in that business. So um, um, you know, there's still a lot of risk there.